Thanks do. again for tuning back into the channel. In this week's video, which is a very short one, I wanted to bring your attention to two plugins, or should I say one plugin and one resource that I use all the time for my composites, and sometimes my sunsets and sunrises. The first of them that I want to bring your attention to is CG Hacks. Now, this is an asset site, and I just want to let you know that both of these sites, I am not, this is not a sponsored video. I just wanted to bring your attention to them because everything else, Black Friday sales, and I just wanted to bring your attention to these because I use both of these all the time when I am editing. So the first of these is CG Hacks, where you can download and use many, many different assets for your composites. And as you can see on screen just now, there is many different things that you can download and use for your composites. These are simply high quality images and assets that you just drag and drop into your composites and everything just falls into place. They also have a Black Friday sale on, and that's why I want to draw your attention to them. The second of these is a plugin that I use for 99.9% .9 of my composites. You may have seen a few weeks ago, I did a video on creating the glow effect. That's how you can do it if you don't have this plugin, but the time that you save and the versatility of this plugin is absolutely phenomenal. This will lift your images from here to here. Now, the next demonstration that you're going to see is just a very simple method of enhancing your images. So this is Honoric Glow and I'm just going to show you the quick way of really affecting your images. Now you can see you've got loads of controls in here, but what I normally do is I will work with masks. And this is the versatility of this plugin, is the fact that you can work with masks. So if you choose the mask option, you can go in and just highlight the areas that you want the glow to be affected or the glow to be applied to. And it's very simply and easily, you just paint where you want it to be. And in this case, it will always be the lighter areas. And once you've done that, you just click OK, and you can see the glow is applied there, and it affects the entire image universally, but it affects the actual area that you want. And then you can go back in and you can choose, okay, there's another area I want to highlight with the same effect and colour and go back in and I can just paint on this. Now, I tend to use a tablet when I'm doing this, but it works just as well with a mouse and you can just apply where you want the effect to happen. And then once you're happy, just click OK and there you can see the effects that it has. Now you have many options in here that you can adjust it, the exposure, the gamma, everything. But if you're happy with what's there, just click OK. And what it will do is it will open it back up in Photoshop for you with a layer created. And there you can see the difference there. Now, for example, that's me completed the wings and the circle in the background. I'm now going back in now to affect the window behind the angel. So I'm just going to get in here and I'm going to paint in the areas, the lighter areas, that's because that's where the glow will apply. Just going to paint in the lighter areas and then go through the entire process again, deciding how much exposure I want, how much effect that I want to apply to this. Once I'm happy, just click OK and then we get that effect. And if you're happy with that, you just click save. But as you see, I can change the exposure if I think it's too bright. I can. There's many different options. I am just wanting to show you how simple it is and how effective it is. Now for the final part of this, I am going to speed up the video and just show you the effect that's going to be applied to the axes. And with this effect in the axis, I'm also going to adjust the saturation so that I can transform the colour of this as well. I actually sped up the video at this point because I think you get the idea of how effective it can be. And as you see, I've applied the glow and a different 
colour to the axe heads themselves. Because it creates masks, you can go in and you can edit and adjust the transparency, everything within these to get the final effect that you are after. That's how easy this plugin is to use and look at the transformation it creates. Hopefully you get something from that and hopefully it lets you see just how simple it is to use. Now I just affected two areas when I was doing this, the axe heads and changed the saturation and then went in and adjusted the lighting that I wanted to enhance the image with. Now there is so much more and that is only one of the lighting effects that in its most basic form. Please check out both of the websites, compositenation.com for Honoric and also BreakGen, which is a phenomenal breakdown generator for your images. It just enhances the overall look of your display for your final edit. You'll see what I mean if you check it out. And then also check out CG Hacks. Both of these sites I have found invaluable for my progress through compositing and finishing images. I think they're absolutely superb and I think you should check them out if you're really, really interested in compositing. Thanks again for watching, take care and I'll see you in the next video.